In this video, we'll talk about 2024 Peugeot E3008. Do not forget to subscribe to my channel. A very important model in the Stellantis portfolio is the E3008, which is the first vehicle to use the automotive supergroup's law medium architecture, which promises a Welt PAT driving range of over 700 kilometers. In Europe, the French-made E3008 is offered in three powertrain configurations with two battery sizes. The smaller 73kWh can be paired with a single or dual motor. Both have a targeted driving range of 525 km. On the Welt PAT combined cycle, the long range packs in 98kWh, good for a driving range of 700 km. This would be enough to make the E3008 the longest range EV on sale in Australia today. Power levels are moderate. Even the fastest twin motor model has 235 kilowatts, enough for a family SUV. Long range and single engine models feature 155 kilowatts and 170 kilowatts engines. Peugeot reveals key details of the E3008E's cabin including the 21-inch infotainment system and driving information display. Wireless Apple CarPlay or Android Auto connectivity is also confirmed, as well as in-car connectivity with Peugeot's latest live traffic navigation and must-have connected services technology. Only two trim levels will be offered at launch, Allure and GT. The Allure actually gets a pair of 10-inch screens instead of the GT single 21-inch screen. It is also equipped with 19-inch alloy wheels, cloth or leather upholstery, and single tone paint. GT trim takes luxury to the next level with two tone paint and contrast roof color, 20-inch alloy wheels, active LED headlights, electric tailgate, seat heating, quilted leather upholstery, customizable toggle switches, and more advanced infotainment software. Takes it out. A mid-size SUV, the E3008 is 4.54 meters long, 1.89 meter wide, and 1.64 meter high. It's around 100 millimeters longer, 50 millimeters wider, and 20 millimeters taller than the current 3008. Boating well for better cabin space. Peugeot prioritized sustainability in the construction of the E3008. More than 500 kilograms of the car's structure consists of green materials, including carbon-friendly aluminum and steel in the body and chassis. Pricing is difficult to predict with Peugeot Australia's current strategy, but we expect a high-spec entry model to be priced above $75,000. There are also very bold exterior details such as highly unusual aerodynamic alloys, a Lambo Urus like high rear deck and futuristic cabin design. We'll reserve our judgment until we get our eyes on a production model, but in the meantime, let us know your thoughts in the comment section. Thank you so much for watching this video.